The Rosetta spacecraft has travelled for more than 6 billion kilometres in pursuit of the comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko The comet orbits the Sun once every six and a half years, passing inside the orbit of Mars. But this time round, if all goes well, it will have a visitor from Earth along for the ride. Well here it is, Comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko. It's four kilometres wide and is travelling through space at over 65,000 kilometres an hour. Quite a feat to catch something like this, but since August, Rosetta's been orbiting the comet at close range, taking pictures, while the scientists try to work out where on its surface they can land a probe. They chose a flat area with good sunlight for the probe's solar panels. But the comet has very little gravity. This means landing and keeping a probe on its surface requires special technology. There is a risk that the filler lander will bounce back. So the point is to deploy first to, to dampen that, uh, that landing with uh, special landing gear, three legs that are going to have shock absorbers, and then instantly, as it, as it may touch down, deploy a harpoon with a tether that is going to be like an anchor to make sure that the lander uh, remains attached to the surface of the comet. The lander has several scientific instruments on board. The rocks that make up the comet are believed to predate the formation of our solar system, something the probe will help scientists investigate. So when comets come past the Earth, we're always interested in taking a look at the, the gases that are coming out of them, the chemistry of them, that very primitive primordial chemistry. And in this case, we're going to get really close and even sample a comet for the first time and do the measurements in situ. So it's a trip back in time, back four and a half billion years to the birth of the solar system. Scientists have suggested much of the water on Earth comes from comets. They also believe they may have brought complex organic molecules with them. What they find on 67P could give us clues into the origin and evolution of not just the solar system, but also life on Earth. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.